Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today we will have another follow-up to a follow-up video about a big form that we had pretty recently on this channel, which I had two videos about, big form with sections and also a follow-up with tabs. And today we'll talk about the third option, which is wizard. So here's the initial form from the first video. And if you haven't seen those ones, I will link that in the description below. So there is a big corporate, I will say form with sections. Here's the code of the resource. So section make with scheme. I will kind of recap those videos. And another option is to use tabs make instead. And then inside of the schema, paste those sections as tabs instead. So that would be the result tab make. And if we refresh that page, we have tabs instead of section, a bit more convenient. But the problem with this approach is that you have create button on any tab, which means that form can be submitted at any time, even after filling in the first tab. What if you want to restrict that and have a wizard? That's why it's called a wizard, which has steps and submit button only at the end of the last step. So if you go to the wizard documentation, there are actually three ways how to implement wizard. And the first one is very similar to the tabs. So instead of tabs make here, you do wizard make from components like this, or in fact, let's put it up on top in the use section, use filament forms like this and then we have wizard make here and then we replace tabs tab with wizard step from what i remember replace all and that should work now if we refresh the page we refresh and we have steps as you can see with numbers and you can add some more customization here but then you can scroll and then there's next button to go to the next wizard step and if you click that it immediately validates the current step before you go further. But this is not the best approach to introduce the wizard because the buttons at the bottom are still visible. So in the docs, if you scroll a bit further, this is important part. This is one of those examples with text that you may skip or overlook, but it is very important. Maybe the images and screenshots before after would emphasize that. So if you follow the documentation, how to add a wizard in a resource, then it will ensure that submit form is available only on the last step, which is exactly what we want, right? To achieve that, the wizard is described in another file. So we'll click that panel resource link and then using a wizard comes to the create page. So if you see on the left sidebar, instead of app filament resources, employee resource, we need to deal with employee resource pages, create employee page here. Here we do use has wizard and another great example of filament that has wizard should come from where? In this case, it's from pages concerns like this. And then we define the method get steps, which should return the array of step make. So each step would be a wizard step with schema that we need to copy and paste from the resource. So this form wizard step make schema will become the first step here like this. And after pasting, I see a lot of underlined things, which means I have to add a lot of use statements on top. And then I thought, wait a minute. So I need to define that schema in the create page, but same in the edit page. That would violate the principle of don't repeat yourself. So maybe defining that schema should be in the resource somewhere, which could be reused then in both create and edit page. So one of the potential solutions is to have specific methods in the employee resource, which I did already here. So in the general, if we didn't have the wizard and the tabs and anything, we can still have separate methods for groups of fields. So self get personal information and other similar methods are just returning the arrays of the fields to not have that in the same place. And then what we can do in the create employee page, we have something like this wizard with steps with step make and then the wizard itself looks much cleaner. And now if we refresh that page, we have the wizard without the buttons at the bottom and with cancel on the left. So this is kind of the correct way of using the wizard in the create page form of the resource. What do you think about this approach? Have you used wizard much in your projects? Did you encounter any limitations or maybe some 
validation errors or something like that, let's discuss in the comments below. In our filament examples project, we have a few projects about wizards. So if you take a look and have by tag, you already saw that one with tabs and these three are about pure wizard components. So registration with steps, registration form overriding. If you have longer form again, then the buttons to get back to steps and recheck the information like a summary page for wizard. And then another one is a typical quiz, which is probably the most classical example of wizard at all. You can get the source code of all those examples at filamentexamples.com. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.